Hi friends, my name is Vishal D. Muske from Scorchwell Technologies and Private Limited and I'm actually back with one more smart Wi-Fi network device. It's actually a Wi-Fi water level monitoring system or you can just simply just call it as a Wi-Fi water level indicator. This device actually is designed using military sonar technology. The same technology which is being used in ships to find out the depth of the ocean or to any underwater objects in submarines. This device is designed for normal user and for industrial applications. Now, before explaining the device further, first I would like to thank you for the massive and the huge response which you gave me for my first video release that is JavaScript Wi-Fi switch. Actually we got many orders and we actually got sufficient investment to actually buy 7 BMWs but we won't buy BMWs instead we invest in our research and projects to bring some awesome fantastic devices for you. Now coming to the device, this device actually consists of this black box which is a microprocessor, the sensor and a mobile app to view. This black box is actually a powerful microprocessor having a RAM 4 MB with operating system XTOS and with Wi-Fi connectivity. This is a sonar, very powerful sonar sensor device. And one mobile app to view your water level at any time from any place. Now, now how to use this system? You actually have to mount this sonar sensor on top of your tank, water tank and on top of your water surface. Actually, this is sonar. Uh, it actually find out any object using ultrasonic echo method. It actually uses sound waves with high frequency to find out the objects in its path. The same technology which is used by the bats and dolphins to find out the obstacles in their path. Now, I will show you how this device works. I will install the sonar system to this tank so that you can easily view it how it works. This is wait now. You can actually mount this device on your water tank. Currently I am using this uh, hardcore as a That's it. Actually, I have installed this sonar sensor on this water tank. This is my fish tank, but I have for demo purpose I have used it as a water tank. And this is and this wire is actually you can extend this wire up to 50 meters. So don't worry. So actually you have to mount the sensor like this, and after that, just power up the microprocessor. Of the microprocessor using the 5 volt adapter. Now, after starting the device, the device will first boot up and it will actually just connect to the Wi-Fi. After connecting the Wi-Fi, it will actually show the water level as per the stored configuration.
as soon as you power up the adapter you can observe the stored water level on the onboard lcd screen now you can see the same level on this uh, web page see here now the web page now here is it is showing level of 70% now currently it is showing the level as 70% as per the stored as per the previous stored configuration now you can now uh, actually change the stored configuration by logging to device using by logging to device using admin panel So as you can see there is a name scorcher where DHM4501 it's actually a device ID so what you have to do you have to connect as I have already connected so it will automatically connect to the device see. so as you can see we are actually connected to the device so after login uh, just open any browser. I'm opening here a Chrome browser. So in that browser, to access the device using admin panel, uh, type 192.168.4.1 in the browser. 192.168.4.1 when you type this you can see the device admin panel see Wi-Fi Sona motor monitoring system support at scotial.com scotial technologies private limited Mihan Nagpur see and uh, when you log into the device you can see on the device there is mentioned as a root access the meaning of a root access means you actually log in to the device now to log in you have to enter the access point SSID and access point password. So now I enter. Since I previously logged in, I just type it is type password as this. So I now log into the device. So after login, you will see a page where a sensor reading is mentioned with the two buttons set empty tank and set full tank when you log into the device you will see on the device is mentioned a login success okay now this device actually reads the level in millimeters so when you install the device first time when your tank is empty click on empty tank the device actually stores the sensor reading the respective sensor reading in the the device wrong and uh, uh, similarly you can set your full tank level in the device actually these two levels these two readings are used by the device to calculate the actual percentage of water in your tank as you can see on the bottom of the page so currently you can see empty tank reading and full tank reading these are my previous two reading and currently the device is showing percentage on the basis of this reading See, on the admin panel on the bottom you will see the device name, MAC address, everything, AP SSID, AP password, Wi-Fi router SSID and Wi-Fi router password. Now this Wi-Fi router is, is actually your local Wi-Fi router. So your device will be automatically connected to your home router. Once your device get connected to the home router, you can access the device using the local IP address now to access the device from outside you can actually port forward your home Wi-Fi router you can easily access this device from outside from your home Wi-Fi router actually it is uh, showing the configuration as 70% as you can see in the on this web page this web page is reading the device using a JavaScript using JavaScript web socket technique you can uh, actually read the device using JavaScript Ajax and the WebSocket technique. In Ajax technique, you have to just request the device. Uh, means Ajax, whenever you request the device, the device will send its data. 
and what is the wave socket method the wave socket method is just like your normal radio transmission actually the device broadcasts its level within an interval of 1 second you just have to attach a listener to that wave socket now we'll do one thing we will actually configure this device using actual data first we'll do one thing we'll log into the device so as you can see the device is now currently showing a 0% level the same level we can observe it in a mobile phone the device is showing the level as 0% now we'll actually we'll put the actual water and we will see how the level changes now i'm actually putting the actual water So as you can see, so as I'm filling the water in a tank, see the level is rising. You can actually view the graph also. See. Now currently our tank is filled as a 23%. So in this way, actually, we can say our device is actually working. Now what I do, I will actually fill the tank at a half level. I'm not going to fill the tank full. I'm actually going to fill the tank half level just to demonstrate. You can see that actually as the water level rises up. Its graph also advances, and in the animation, in the app, you can see its water level is rising. Now the currently water level is at forty-two percent. Okay, I will just now. I think it's enough for demonstration. I will switch off the water supply. So as you can see, actually I have filled the tank. Actually I have filled the half of a tank, and the same data is being displayed here, right here. If I remove the water from this tank, same. I will see the drop in the water level. So. In this way, actually, this device actually works. Now, you can actually view the you can actually view the water level in your smartphone in your smartphone app. developer you can actually view the data in your program in your code now let's view the physics behind this device this is ultrasonic device which uses ultrasonic waves to detect the obstacles in their path now let's see one documentary that how the system works in the modern ships let's see ships are the billion dollar vessels floating on a water it actually spends its entire life in a deep sea it can clearly view the space and a skyline but visually it is blind to see anything below ocean surface to help ships detect any object below ocean surface it continuously sends pulses of ultrasonic waves to deep ocean and waits for the echo by analyzing the echo it can find the nature and the position of any underwater object now how this system works this system actually consists of a transmitter and the receiver which is installed on the bottom of the ship the ultrasonic waves transmitted by a transmitter travels underwater 
and get reflected from the obstacles. The detector receives the signal and converts them into electrical signal. A computer forms the image of the obstacle and displays it on a monitor. The computer accurately calculates the position of the obstacle using the formula distance equal to speed into time. This system is actually immune system of all the modern ships. This system helps ships to identify underwater hills, valleys, submarines, icebergs, sunken ships, etc. in the ocean to avoid any kind of a disaster. Military and Navy ships use this system to find any suspicious or potential threat below ocean surface. As soon as they find any threat in any submarine, they immediately fire the missiles and torpedoes to destroy them. Now, this system actually, this system also used in the helicopters to find out the underwater submarines. In our India, the Indian Navy and DRDO also develop an advanced sonar system. So also take a look at this, how they develop this system. This is the story of how the synergy between two premier organizations, the DRDO and the Indian Navy, are taking the nation a long way ahead in its pursuit of self-reliance. Warships are huge and expensive offensive war machines which are also the most sought after targets of enemy attacks. So is the case with submarines which are vital assets for naval warfare. For a submarine underwater, the sonars are its eyes and ears. DRDO has developed the state-of-the-art submarine sonar suite Usha's 2, a highly evolved compendium of multiple sensors. The constituent sonars in the suite include passive sonar, active sonar, intercept sonar, obstacle avoidance sonar and underwater telephony. The system provides advanced classification features, contact motion analysis and automatic torpedo detection capabilities. 
To detect enemy submarines, sonars are also installed on warships. An important operational requirement for ship sonar is the in situ acoustic calibration of sonar arrays, which are carried out by a computer controlled rotary system called the directing gear. Developed by DRDO, this robust system is designed to withstand heavy shock loads and is capable of operation in high sea states. More compact than internationally available directing gears, this marks yet another stride forward in the Make in India initiative. Incidentally, three directing gears have been exported to Myanmar and are in use in the Myanmar Navy. Navigating in sea has evolved over the centuries from ancient techniques to modern inertial navigation systems. It is an important operational need for any warship for steering it to its destination accurately by providing vital information on the ship's position coordinates and heading. For this, DRDO has developed a high-accuracy inertial navigation system based on indigenous ring laser gyroscopes and accelerometers, a technology privy to very few nations. The system features high-speed processor, multi-constellation sat-nav receiver, ship-specific interfaces and innovative algorithms. After extensive evaluation, the system has entered into production and is operational on board Indian naval ships. This system will be installed in the complete naval fleet. At DRDO, we are proud of our Indian Navy, who guard our maritime borders. And we will continue our relentless efforts to give them the cutting edge. Jai Hind! Yesterday, I actually got order of 1000 units from a local cooler company. Actually, they want to show the water level in their cooler system. So, I think it's all. Thank you.